Kevin Laub, a former employee of a financial services firm, and now a high school English teacher for almost 20 plus years in Northern Virginia, sits in his home virtually sharing his experience of escaping the South Tower of the World Trade on September 11, 2001. However, he's not talking to a classroom of high school students, but rather mid-career professionals within several years intelligence agencies and military services who are taking a graduate course in infrastructure vulnerability assessment at the National Intelligence University NIU the course is part of news master's degree in science and technology intelligence but is also available to students through news homeland security intelligence certificate program two years after September 11 2001 then student teacher Kevin Laub spoke to a class of juniors regarding his experience These students had been high school freshmen on that horrific day and were old enough to have understood what was occurring and many had parents who worked at the Pentagon. As he described his experience many of them openly cried because they too had experienced that day, and it impacted them. Over the years, the average age of Kevin's students became younger and younger, and the last academic year of any student alive on that day was in 2019, according to his student roster. Despite that, on or about each September 11th anniversary, Kevin shares his first-hand account of escaping the South Tower to classrooms of students. For several years now, Kevin has also been speaking to new students. The course instructor, the author of this article, uses Kevin's experience to illustrate a key aspect of infrastructure vulnerability, which are the people that utilize it, work within it, and maintain it, and who must survive it when things go bad. The author of this article uses Kevin's experience to greatly expand on a framework of survival discussed by Amanda Ripley in her 2008 book titled The Unthinkable, Who Survives When Disaster Strikes, and Why. 1. She speaks of a survival arc of denial deliberation, and decision. However, the author's military, survival, human behavior, and infrastructure training and expertise expanded this survival arc to a more comprehensive nine-step survival bridge comprised of detect, deny, deduce, debate, decide, do, drive, deliver, and divulge. In essence, the survival bridge connects the side of danger and death to the side of safety and life, but this bridge covers a great chasm of dangers trying to stop those from saving themselves consisting of non-beneficial human behavior, poor training, poor decision making, poor messaging, poor loop. The following is Kevin's experience, in the context of this 9-step survival bridge. Prologue in 2001. Kevin was in his late 20s and had worked for Morgan Stanley Dean Witter for 5 years and was working as a manager maintaining client accounts. 